Kim and today I went to the grocery stores. I went to Walmart and Aldi. They're right next door to each other and picked up a few things. One of, one of the things I wanted to do this weekend is kind of do a little bit of a freezer stock up on frozen vegetables. So I did that at Walmart and probably could have got a little bit better prices at Aldi but We'll just, we'll just take a look at what I got this morning. So, $60 budget this weekend and, well, every weekend for the month of July. So, did I say under budget? Yes, I did. How, how much under budget was I? We'll see that at the end, but let's take a look at what I picked up at the stores this morning. Okay, y'all. This is what I got. And if you take a look at all of this, there is no meat. I picked up no meat this morning, so hopefully by picking up no meat, it saved me some money. Um, although I could have, but I didn't. I decided to just, let's just go for the frozen stuff and a few fresh things. So over here at Walmart, we'll just start right here. All of this frozen stuff right here is from Walmart. So let's start here. I got the bag of, this is all great value brand frozen vegetables. So the broccoli stir fry. I can see that 20 ounce bag of broccoli stir fry and that's $2.54. I got back here the I think that's a 20 ounce, yeah, 20 ounce bag with a pepper and onion blend. Y'all, so convenient. And well, we'll talk about that in a minute. But the pepper and onion blend is $2.58. And then y'all haven't bought corn or sweet peas in a while. So, and my daughter was like, where's the corn? I'm like, well, you didn't say you wanted corn. She hasn't mentioned corn in forever. Well, I said, well, I'll just get you some corn then. I'll get you some corn and I'll get you some peas. Um, I just, I don't know why. She just, I, I would ask her, do you want some corn or do you want some peas? And she was like, nah. So, I just kind of quit buying it. And so, just the other day, she says, why don't we have any corn or peas? Well, <laughs> you never want it. So, I picked up a bag of corn. This is a big bag of corn. A 32 ounce two pound bag of the whole kernel corn and this was 248 for that and then I got two of the little 12 ounce bags of the sweet peas and oh goodness y'all been a minute since I bought all this I have to have to look at the receipt for that so these are 98 cents and then I got the fine green beans and these are pretty good. I really like these green beans. And I haven't bought them in a while either. But these are $1.97 for the 12-ounce bag. Then I got one bag of the California-style vegetable mix, which is just broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And that's $1.16. I got a 12-ounce bag of just regular mixed vegetables. And those are $0.98. Cents. And then I got a 12-ounce bag of cut okra. And that is 154. Y'all, I have to really think to, to pronounce it okra because a lot of times around here, uh, people call it okra. <laughs> so I just have to really think to call it okra because that's what it is. It's okra. But uh, people I know, including my family members, call it okra. <laughs> but you know, there you go. Uh, then the last thing I got at Walmart was the zucchini blend so we've got yellow and green and yellow zucchini and yeah i've got a little bit of that over there but this is frozen so the frozen doesn't go bad and this is 197 for a 10 ounce bag so it's a little bit more than these other little bags of vegetables but i like to get frozen vegetables and have them on hand because the fresh stuff if you don't go ahead and use it you lose it right you know so these i can put in my freezer and in four months i'm like oh yeah i can I, i've got i've got this i can make that or i've got okra i can do that so that was my little freezer stock up on frozen vegetables from walmart this morning and i was trying to stay under 20 dollars at walmart so here's my receipt before tax this was 17.13 and with tax, it was eighteen thirty-three. So I'm rounding that up to nineteen dollars. Okay, now let's move over here to Aldi. 
I realized this morning my daughter was going to a um, she's her her one of her brothers is having a thing at his house. I mean her brothers are grown and gone. They're they're grown. They're like way way older than her. Well, this one that she's going to his house, he's like I don't know, he's late twenties. I don't know how old he is. <laughs> Something like twenty nine, somewhere around there. But anyways, they're having a thing at his house, and it was meatballs. I mean, she wanted to do a crock pot with meatballs and uh, marinara sauce. So I found one jar of marinara sauce in my pantry. I'm like, oh my goodness, how did I let myself get low on that? So because I mean, I, I guess because we use it a lot. So we used that, and then I just kind of there was. I mean, I already had the frozen meatballs, so we just did. I put them in the crock pot. I poured the marinara over it. I added an 8-ounce can of tomato sauce and just seasoned it up with Italian seasoning and let it go. And she has taken my crock pot and left with it to her brother's house. So I decided to stock up on the marinara sauce because this is really good. We really like this marinara sauce. So, and it's really, it's, 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 it's real tasty and it's got good clean ingredients and it's organic and it's only $1.99. For a was that 23 and a half ounce jar so I went ahead and stocked up and got three of them so that's part of my you know what I spent at Aldi and then okay let's talk about this a minute these these are so good well I like them not everybody's gonna like them but these are the birthday cake almond cookies they are gluten-free they are grain 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 free gluten-free and they are they have no it's not real sugar but if you look here it's got erythritol as the sweetener so you have to be real careful um eating you i mean you can yes you can definitely sit down and eat the whole bag but you will pay for it the next day because it messes with your stomach and that's all i'm going to say about that so you've got to portion these out maybe one or two and they're a little bitty they're like this big around little bitty things so just be careful if you buy these and eat them because you will, you know, it's tempting to eat the whole bag. But no, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. But these were marked down today on sale, I guess, uh, for $2.49 each. They're normally $2.99. So I got those two. And then I got the almond flour crackers. These are, I think these are $2.99 for that bag of crackers. Yes, it is. Okay. And I got the multi-seed wraps keto friendly multi-seed wraps and let me see what these are I've never bought these so I bought these to try them so this is $3.49 for six wraps so I don't know per wrap it's because it's a little bit pricey but I thought I'd try it and I'll know if I like them or not otherwise I'll just stick with my little carb balance wraps that I get at Sam's Club for for you know I mean those are good and we like them but I got that, and then I got a yellow squash. There's four in here, and these were a dollar forty-nine a pound. Is that what it was? Yeah, dollar forty-five a pound. So the yellow squash was two forty-seven. No, yeah, the yellow squash was two forty-seven, and then the zucchini was. I don't know, y'all. This this receipt, zucchini yellow squash. This makes no sense. Look at this. It's the zucchini. It's calling. It's thirty-one cents, and the yellow squash is two forty-seven. Let's take a look. Um, it says two thirteen. I don't know. Two thirteen. I don't know. I I, I don't know. Two thirteen. And this is. Let's take a look at this one. Two forty-seven. So. The yellow squash did ring up as two forty-seven, but the zucchini only rang up at thirty-one cents. Hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's not my fault. They're they're pre-marked, and I just picked up the packages. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Well, let's just move on. I got this uh, celery here. This is you know, this is a massive thing of celery. It's I don't know how much it is. It says one stalk, but that's a big stalk of celery. It's $1.99 for that. And then I got a two pound bag of the whole carrots. And the carrots are $1.49. I did get one English cucumber. It's 95 cents. So at Aldi this morning, 
here's my little Aldi receipt, and let's go down here to the totals. Before tax, it was twenty-six oh two, and with tax, twenty-seven eighty-four. Okay, um, I have no clue when my camera stopped filming, but I got a message on my little screen that said my SD card was full. So I've got that in my computer downloading, and I'll just start with a whole new SD card. So let's go over here. So the budget, remember the budget this month is $60 a week. This is July 2024, so 60 a week. I round up on my receipts, so the total at Walmart was 19. The total at Aldi was 28. That totaled $47 together. And I take that away from my $60 budget. That leaves me 13 that I've saved this weekend. I saved a dollar last weekend, so $14 that I've got saved towards a future freezer haul from the butcher shop. So $14 I can stick over there in that little savings envelope for a future meat haul for my deep freezer. All right, let's do a little bit of menu planning here. So my daughter is away this afternoon. Uh, she's at her brother's place and so there's no need for me to plan any dinner meal tonight. So, it, because it's just me, so I don't really care. So, I'm just going to do, um, I'm just, I've got bacon and eggs, so I'll make that quick and easy. That'll give me some leftover bacon for the near future. Uh, leftover bacon is always a good thing. Okay, um, and when I was putting up my groceries, I did see I do have in one of my freezers a pork roast. So, I'm going to do a slow cooker pork roast here. And one of the reasons I got that squash is because I want to do a squash casserole. So we're going to do that here. Because, you know, it's a Sunday and I've got the time to make extra things. So, casserole. Okay, um, let's see. I've got, let's see, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to put down, I'm going to put down, I've got, we're shorthanded at work, so while this is not my late week, when I put this on a Sunday, that means this whole week is my late week at work, but we're shorthanded, so I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to put it by the day here because my co-worker and I have agreed, and I'll update these three days, and she'll update the uh, Thursday and Friday. And, you know, that works out okay for me because Friday, we work an extra hour. So, um, that way I get to leave at 5.30 instead of 4.30. Okay, so, let's see. Let me go check my list just a second. Let's see, um, I think I want to do, I'm skipping Monday for a second. We're going to do um, beef burritos here. Okay, and then let's see. Let's do a pizza soup here. Haven't had a soup in a while. And you know, my <laughs> my first grade teacher. I don't know if you've ever watched me write things down, but any any kind of letter that has a loop. I've always got to, if I don't close it, I have to go back and close the loop. Because my first grade teacher used to tell us we had to close that loop. Close that loop. Always close that loop on a letter because it'll let bugs in. And you don't want bugs in, so you had to close the loop. And and it just I just do it automatically now and don't even think about why. But sometimes I think about why I do that. And it just makes me laugh. <laughs> you know. Okay. Let's see. So we've got tonight... Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is always leftovers for me. Friday is always leftovers. Now I have Thursday. Let's see. Gosh, I should have checked my list earlier for Thursday when I went to check for um, Monday and Tuesday. Just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to do a sheet pan chicken. I've got everything in the freezer for this. 
cheap pan chicken with roasted vegetables. Okay. Um, not only do I have plenty of frozen vegetables now, I've got I've got fresh vegetables I can use, so I could use that um, zucchini, cube that up, and put that in on the sheet pan. Got frozen broccoli. I got I got plenty of vegetables, so some kind of vegetable, whatever I see. Like I don't know. I probably I don't see myself doing zucchini here, and I've already got the squash here. So I probably will do the zucchini here. So, um, but there's, okay, that's, uh, that's all that. Let's see. We're going to have lunches. Lunches this week for my work week is going to be, what kind of salad do I want this week? What kind? Well, I guess I'll just do chef salads. Okay, there we go. There's my lunches. There's our dinners. My daughter still has plenty of cereal for breakfast. And she does sandwiches for lunch. She still has plenty of um, bread and sandwich meat. So, okay, that's the menu plan for this week. Y'all, I had to go put my hair up. Uh, it's hot. It's, I don't know what the temperature is. Let me take a look. Let's see what the temperature is today. My phone says it's only 94 degrees. And uh, the heat index is 104, so it feels like 104, but it's only 94. So you know, in the summertime, I I like to like I go to work and I wear my hair down, and like things like videos and like when I go to town and do my grocery shopping, I wear my hair down. But I get home and I get busy, and my hair just has to go up, and it's up. So, but you know. I, just, I did decide this week to go without meat, you know, to go, with, I mean, it's not that we don't have meat. We have meat. I've got plenty of meat in the freezers, and I've got sandwich meat in the refrigerator. So, um, I wanted to kind of do a stock up on the various types of frozen vegetables, plus a few fresh things, and, you know, I do have a lot of... I've got now I do have a lot of carrots and I've got a lot of celery so um, I'm gonna I'm going to do a video on what I'm gonna do with all that because that will not stay fresh in my refrigerator for very long I'm going to do something with that this weekend so I'll be making a video of what I do with all that but um that's it for this video there's my grocery haul I saved under my $60 I was way under my $60 and I did my menu plan, and so I feel better about the week. I know what we're having, and that's it for this video. I'll see y'all later. Bye.